Rock and Sedum Gardens make your yard stand out among your neighbors, but the one thing that won't stand out is how much you paid for them. I went out to the gardens at Blackhawk Hardware to see how these easy gardens, uh, how they're easy to grow and all the way from the ground up. If you want a unique look in your yard that will have your neighbors oohing and aahing without a whole lot of effort, we have a great idea for you. I'm here with Mary Mitchell from the gardens at Blackhawk. Good morning to you. Good morning. So we're looking at a rock, a sedum, and a cactus garden here. That's right. A little bit of everything. Uh, this has turned out to be such a popular spot in the garden center. Uh, with the droughts that we had over the few years, people became interested in what else they could do in their yeah. garden. This is a very low maintenance garden. Once you get it in, it pretty much takes care of itself. You said this actually lasted throughout the entire winter, which was really cool. It really You did. created a microclimate that did what? Well, by having the gravel and the rocks that you can see placed in here, they help to hold the heat from the sun during the winter mm -hmm. days. So it helped to keep the soil temperature warmer, and the plants just stayed beautiful all they winter just long. Stayed there, and with the exception of a couple things like the grasses, you have all perennials here that keep coming back. That's correct. That's um, correct. As far as the mulch goes, you decided to use gravel too. There's another advantage of it aside from holding in the heat. Yeah, it helps uh, uh, hold in moisture, but it also helps prevent weeding. So once you get this set up and you take the time to do it correctly. You almost have a maintenance-free garden. As a matter of fact, you'll be thinning some of this and sharing it with your friends. And one of the things that we actually could share with, with a friend is the aloe plant. We have a big one here and then a smaller yes. one over here. Let me show you how nice this is. You can always dig the little plants up and share it with your friends, but you've got instant first aid in your home. <laughs> in case you have a nice little, little sunburn birds or and things like that. Whatever else, There's just a little, dab it on. Just in Ooh, it feels very nice. nice. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Um, and we see a lot of different colors in here and a lot of different textures. I That's like correct. that. Yes. And uh, people tended to think that if you didn't have flowers, you couldn't have color. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we have wonderful color here and texture. And let yourself go crazy. If you've got a broken pot at home and you don't know what you're going to do with it, bury the pot. As you can tell, this was a pot where the bottom was broken out. And we just sank the pot in the soil. Oh, I and didn't realize that. That okay. way you have a little elevation to your cactus garden. You have little gnomes in there. I guess you can That's put all right. sorts the of The children, things in we there. have to have those. The children love those. So one thing you have to look out for if you do have kids is if you have the cactus in there, they're a little prickly. You need to make sure that they stay away. That's right. And you know, if you have real young children, you may want to wait and put cactus in when they're a little older. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, there are so many varieties of big, beautiful cactus. So. Uh, have fun with it. I'm thinking too uh, that this would probably keep my dog out of my garden too. Right? <laughs> yeah, you get in there one time and never go back. That's right, <laughs> absolutely. Mary Mitchell from the Gardens of Blackhawk, thank you so much. It's been my pleasure. Mary, we call Mary the gardening grandmother. Oh, I love her. She's so sweet. She is so sweet. <laughs> Good ideas too. Thanks, Anna.